Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this fine tutorial, we're going to make a little key, hot key, or stream deck toggle to spawn a parkle because why not? Just to help you get a little bit more familiar about the water blueprint thing. I don't know, just why not? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to blueprints here. We're going to add a blueprint. We're going to rename this, call it a um, particle spawner. Press on OK. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to type either stream deck trigger. So if you're a stream deck user, use stream deck trigger. Or if you are, a, you know, using keyboard only for toggles, then you could type out keystroke on keystroke press and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in spawn particle put that right there then connect depending on the weather stream deck or keyboard so we'll name this particle spawn and then if you're a keyboard you could just set this to some sort of combination let's say actually i want this to control one and then let's set the source to be any of these particles here you can have something like a little um Let's say, for example, I don't know, this explosion looking thing. Actually, no, the little sparkly thing. That that looks pretty. And then, um, pretty much by default, if I were to do the uh, control one, it should do a little spawn like that. Of course, you can attach this to somewhere else on your avatar, so character, or somewhere else even. And you can be able to set from there. So I can be able to press here and see if you know how it looks like so let's say right hand you can see um i could probably rotate it actually let's try rotating it z axis 90 degrees nope not gonna work not gonna work let's try 90 here nope it's not gonna doesn't want to rotate yes yeah, so, yeah some particles don't, probably don't want to rotate but you can at least make it smaller with the scale but yeah uh, but pretty much you adjust the values to however you want. I can also change this to be something else. Let's say maybe ground this one. It's like that. Ooh, very spooky. But yeah, uh, but you can pretty much make a button to spawn a particle. Uh, and you can even have it again where, let's say, um, let's say, for example, I don't know, I'm toggling a prop or something. So let me go ahead and add an asset prop. Um, and let's say, I don't know, a gun or something like that. And we're going to put down my hand real quickly. Let's say, yeah, so right hand, for example, doesn't matter. Um, and then we have a set asset, set asset property. Connect that here, asset here, prop, set that to enabled. And set this to toggle you could just pretty much have it like for example every time the gun you know appears the particle is playing so you could do some cool stuff like that again your imagination is the limit i'm just giving you this knowledge that way you can take it to the next level and such i look forward to seeing what you do and i hope that you have a lovely day hope that this mini tutorial sort of helps you out and have a lovely day see you guys next time bye bye Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.